through photography, I want to shoot, I want to capture some landscapes which I can see in my heart. It's, it's kind of poem, I think. Mm -hmm. Visual poem. So I prefer to take pictures of uh, take picture without anyone on in a frames. Simple landscapes. The picture without any explanation. But I prefer to have those kind of pictures telling something from inside of the picture. Not to explain, but just to simply telling something. I don't expect the people to feel something. I, I like to read some novels. Maybe my first inspiration comes from those novels. Or like movies. I, uh, I like the works of Wong Kar Wai. It's, uh, yeah, it's very famous. And, uh, well, other words, Chan Imo, of course, he's also famous. And uh, I like his way, his way of visual telling, visual storytelling. I like it very much. And then recently, I started to read some old Japanese novels like uh, Yasunai Kawabata. It inspired me a lot. Yeah, like uh, you know, like this is a poet, very poetic. Important points of career were well, I won one award called the Taiyo Award when I was 30 years old and uh, well, it was one of the presti prestigious, prestigious awards in Japan and uh, before, getting our, before getting that award I was thinking if I lose that award well I, I gave up my photography career because you know I was, at, 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 I was at 30 years old you know the normally the people go to the kaisha you know company to be a you know, salaryman or yeah so if I lose that award I, I, I decided to choose the normal way like going to some company you know it's a, that was the last chance you know in Japan, you know, uh, people, it, it's very difficult for the people of 30 years old. It's very difficult to find a job, but, but if, if you're 20s, it's, it's still possible to be a part of, you know, Japanese society, Kaisha society. So, well, so for finally, I won, the, uh, I, I got the award. So I decided to continue my career. Yeah, maybe any time when I, when I publish my work, it's very important points. Like, uh, you know, I first published my Chinese Chinese work in uh, 2009. When I started photography, I wanted to become kind of documentary photographer. But now I forgot about it. Because shooting documentary photography is not my style, I, I, which I found in my 30s. Then I, well, naturally shift my photography from documentary to landscapes. My first book, Slowly Down the River, is a kind of documentary work which I covered uh, Three Gorges Dam, which is the biggest, you know, hydroelectric hydro dam in, in China, in the world, and uh, it forcibly removed the people, more or less one million people, to the dam area, to the you know, other area. So, so I followed that uh, story for nearly seven years, and I believed I did some good job on the documentary, kind of documentary photography. But after that, after publishing it, I thought, well, it's enough for me. This is not my this is not what I want to do. So I naturally, slowly and slowly, I shifted. 
and the second one is a black and white Shimagatari. It's a, a black and white book with the remote islands of Japan, which I published in a, later in the 2014. And the third one is called Cascade. It is a, it's a color one. Well, Cascade is a book uh, about my memory of my mother who died in 2016 and after sorting through, while sorting through her apartment well I'm an only son and uh, I was, when I was cleaning her apartment I accidentally found very old 8 me home movies and uh, I'm sure I, I haven't seen it for at least three decades mm -hmm. and at the time I found several reels of home movies plus some project, very old projector so I projected the films in her, my mother's apartment and uh, while projecting it, I, I shot many pictures of the films. You know? And uh, I edited it and I made a story of my memory. And the fourth publication is called uh, By the Sea, which is a, my, one of the recent stories about uh, landscapes which I took in a, along the Sea of Japan. This work in Kyoto started in 2014, and uh, well now five year, almost five years past, so I, should, I think I should complete, publish it. Be, but before publish it, I want to see what I miss it. So this show is a kind of feed, my feedback, you know. After the years of experiencing some digital pictures, I found that uh, I prefer analog pictures. Now I think I won't take much more time for making one print. Well, I like darkroom. Yes, very much. I'm a Japanese. I was born in Japan and uh, naturally I've got some influence or impression, uh, influence, unseen influence, you know, from our society. And of course, it inspires me, yeah. And I feel the difference between my work and the works, the works from of the photo, photographers in other countries. I cannot say in words the difference, you know, but I can see the difference. I'm not. I'm not shooting kind of wabi-sabi intentionally, but, well, I think it, it springs out naturally, you know. Maybe we, we Japanese are the people who like the shadow of the light. And it's a kind of wabi-sabi, I think.